So today I'm gonna to show you the perfect setup for somebody who has a fifth wheel they need to tow, but they still want a toolbox and a tonneau cover and they need it all to work together, so stay tuned. So today I wanna to show you our toolbox and tonneau cover combination that we've finally gotten nailed down. Full disclosure, eTrailer.com, our latest partner, did send us this tonneau cover to try out and make a video on, so thank you so much to eTrailer. Thanks to JD at Big Truck Big RV. It was his video where I first saw this combination to even know to try it out, so thanks to you, JD. Let's go over what it is about this setup that makes it good for fifth wheels. Let's start with the toolbox. This is actually our third toolbox. It's been a bit of an evolution. Our first toolbox was awesome. It was a weather guard. I loved it. Got all our tools from our house all packed in there and you know, drove it around the truck before we got our fifth wheel for a couple months. Nice, solid toolbox. Had push button openings on the sides. That would have worked great with a tonneau cover but it did not work well with a fifth wheel. So we're doing our first hitch up ever at Lazy Days. Of course, with their help, they're very good about that. They wanna make sure that we can turn the truck without interfering with the fifth wheel, hitting it, uh, make sure we've got good bed clearance and all that good stuff. Well, it was an immediate failure. The toolbox was way too high. It was about, it was about like that. I think it was a good seven inches or so off the bed of the truck, off the bed rails. This here, you still got more clearance? Mm -hmm but this is gonna stop you from it. So this yeah. will be fine. Yeah, you'll be okay. Right now you're about, the problem is that you're about 65 degree angle when yeah. you can be doing more than that. When you're talking about an average of about six inches clearance between the bed rail and the bottom of the RV, you do the math, seven greater than six means they're gonna hit. So that truck toolbox had to go immediately. I was really bummed. It was a really expensive toolbox too. We found a more compatible toolbox at Lowe's. It was actually made by Betterbuilt, I think, but it had the Cobalt brand on it. But the keys said Betterbuilt, so I think it was a Betterbuilt. Anyway, that one worked great. We've been using that toolbox for about two and a half years and never had an issue with it hitting the RV or interfering with turns in any way. But I've always wanted to put a tonneau cover on here. And that's where, you know, all these things kind of have to work together, right? Requirements for the toolbox. One, I wanted a saddle style. I wanted to be able to get into it without having to do anything with the snow cover and leave it closed. Of course, it's got to be low profile. So it also has to not interfere with the tonneau cover. When you talk about the back of the toolbox right here and the tonneau cover, that's where our cobalt toolbox fell short. The handles were right there where the cover was going to go. They just weren't going to work well together. So the options were to get an in the bed toolbox. Like I say, that's out because then you gotta pull the tonneau cover up every time you wanna access the toolbox or find one where the latches don't interfere with the cover. Well, there are a lot of toolboxes out there, even our first one that follow that criteria, but it's also gotta be low profile. Still have the latches above the rails because you know there are plenty of toolboxes that are low profile and the handles are down here. Again, gotta remove the tonneau cover that's not what I wanted. So that's when I came across JD's video in Big Truck Big RV and he had this setup. So even though JD proved that this was a really great solution, I was reluctant to get this toolbox and here's why. When I show products and do videos on things, I like to make sure they're available to purchase. And that's the catch here. This particular line of toolboxes has been discontinued. This is the SLE line, and those are the ones that have the shotgun latches that are up, they're nice and thin, and they're above the bed rail. And I looked around, I wanted to find a similar solution that wasn't discontinued that I could recommend to you guys. It's quite a bit more difficult than you might think. I even called Betterbuilt. Uh, they were recently acquired by another company, and they decided to kind of scaled down their SKUs and they discontinued the SLE line, which really sucks. But I, I, didn't, I didn't have another option. So I found this on eBay actually. I'll put the part number on the screen and down below. Shop around, do a search, buy the part number and you should be able to find it. I know Tractor Supply has some. I know uh, the guy on eBay has some. And these retail for a, a close to $900, but the one I got on eBay was like $625. So again, I can't guarantee what price you're gonna get, but search for it and get it before it's gone. 
Also, if you really think that this is like I do, if you really think this is kind of the only solution that allows a low profile crossover toolbox with a latch you can get to, works with the tonneau cover, doesn't interfere with the fifth wheel, call Better Built. Uh, I'm going to put the number down below and their email address. Maybe if they get enough people saying, hey, you guys have the only solution out there, maybe they'll bring the SLE line back or come up with some other line that still has these shotgun latches because you're going to see this is a really good solution. A couple of notes about this toolbox. It comes with a liner and some dividers and that's kind of a neat idea in theory but the sides of the toolbox go down like this and then the liner came in a little bit wedged so that the dividers could fit in. So these things don't fit in there very well. Look at all that wasted space. I found the whole thing to be completely useless. Dividers are never gonna line up where you want them to anyway. So I ripped the whole thing out and I actually gained quite a bit more space. It's a bit of a pain to get out. You kinda of gotta bend it and mine broke, but I didn't care, I was throwing it away. JD said he did the same thing. He just took that thing out. He was able to get his out without breaking it. He was probably a bit more patient. I just, I just ripped it out of there. Also, this toolbox does have a little light switch built into it. So if you want to hook up either your upfitter switches or another 12 volt source, and hook up a light in there that opens up when you open up the thing. You can do that. JD has some information on that and he even just rigged up a little battery thing to go with it so he doesn't have to use one of his upfitter switches. And that's kind of cool. I didn't really need it. I'm almost always opening this thing up in the daytime. I got a flashlight. It's just, it's one of those really cool things that I didn't want to put the work into. My project list is long enough. So let's talk a little bit about this tonneau cover. Obviously, this is what this whole thing is about, really, was getting a toolbox that works with a tonneau cover. I've wanted a tonneau cover for a while for several reasons. We like to keep our inflatable kayak back there. Sometimes I like to toss my golf clubs in the back of the truck. I wouldn't do that or leave it in a parking lot without a cover over it. Obviously, a tonneau cover like this that's not a hard shell is going to be easily defeated with a razor knife. I mean, you cut it right open and get right in. But out of sight, out of mind, at least people can look into your bed and see what's in there to see if it's worth breaking the law. And again, the coolest thing about this tonneau cover is A, it's just a really good tonneau cover. It's made by Access. B, it's designed to work with a toolbox. So you'll see that it butts right up against the edge of the toolbox. There's a, a seal along there. They give you a nice long seal to put between the toolbox and the truck bed. And it comes with a lot of other seals, so you can kind of make the whole thing watertight. I'm not that worried about it being watertight. I just didn't want rain directly on stuff. And that's the other benefit. When it rains, I'm not gonna get a lot of direct water right on our hitch anymore. So our, our M5 will probably last longer, have a little less corrosion on it. And again, it's just, it just looks good. It just looks so much better than an open bed with a fifth wheel hitch and blocks and gas cans and all that junk in there. It's covered up and it's nice. It's out of sight, out of mind. I've always liked the e-trailer website because you can plug in your truck information and it filters out all the garbage that won't fit in your truck. And that's a huge benefit. So another cool thing about e-trailer is they do have experts on hand to help you out if you wanna call or email them. They'll make sure they get you into the right product the first time. And that's really key with this stuff. I mean, when you're shopping on Amazon or eBay or whatever, you don't have anybody you can call and say, hey, is this gonna fit my truck? Is this gonna work well together? Do these two different products work well together? This is the Access Toolbox Edition soft roll-up to no cover, designed to work with toolboxes that are between 19 and 21 inches deep, meaning this way. Now let's talk a little bit about the installation of this thing. It's really simple and it doesn't require any screwing of holes or drilling into your truck or anything like that. This particular model has 10 C-clamps that are actually kind of designed, they're separate. So you could put them on either direction and this makes no sense, but you'll see what I mean when I show you under the covers. You've got 10 of those clamps and you just clamp the edges of this thing to the side of your rails. It's got a header bar that goes right up against your toolbox that has a seal on it. And then everything's kind of built around that. There are two other pieces to install. Each of those has five clamps. They're really cool C-clamps. All you really have to do is line that thing up on the edge of your bed rail, put a vice grip on there or something, or a C-clamp or something just to hold it while you put the other clamps on. You tighten them down, maybe make a few adjustments. It's super easy. It comes with a ton of gaskets for the area between the toolbox and the front of the truck bed. Also some that you can put on the back over here. 
and let me show you some of these cool things. So as you can see with this toolbox here, it's got these shotgun latches, just like if you're loading a shell in your shotgun right here. It has a separate shotgun latch and lock on either side, so you can get in either way. And again, this is what I was looking for. I can reach right in here, grab the tools, grab our pump. If you watched our tools video, you know I like to keep tools that I might access frequently near the edges here so I can get to them. And this thing is, is just great. I don't know if you can see the little nubby thing over here. That's the switch for the light accessory if you decide to put that in. And it's just a nice solid toolbox. I really hope if you want one, you're able to find one. You might want to definitely grab one now. Again, we have no relationship at all with Better Built as far as affiliate links, but find one and get one if you want to get one. And like I said, maybe we can get them to bring it back. All right, let's just kind of go over real quick how this thing works. It's really not rocket science, it's very simple. Open the tailgate. Up under here is a little cable. Pull that down, pop that up. And then I generally will get in the bed and roll it up nice and tight, but you can just go right down the side here. And that's it. You can see that it's got this Velcro along here and that the nice thing about having this as a separate piece connected to your bed rails versus on top of them is your bed rails remain clear and free if you have some sort of contraption back here holding stuff or you have a, a rack or something you put on back here. And then it's got a couple of clamps that you clip in up front here. So you can get to these from the sides. These just clip right in here, like so. You can tighten these straps down. And that's it, this thing is ready to hitch up and tow. You can see that the rolled up cover is no higher than the toolbox itself. Plenty low for clearance for the fifth wheel. While I've got this open, you can see it's got tensioners here. So you can adjust these forward and back and basically get the cover the right tension so it's not too tight to put it down and it's not too loose just flopping around. It just so happened that this one came just set perfectly. I didn't have to turn one knob. I just bolted it in, rolled it up, and it was done. So let's show you how this thing deploys back the other way. And again, you can do this from the side if you want. And then I like to give it a little tug down the side like that. Do the same thing here on the other side. And that's it, the thing is closed. It's nice and snug, maybe a little bit too snug right now. I might need to adjust that up just a little bit. But I tell you, it's nice to have this. So you might also be curious about some hardcover options. And there are a couple of issues there. They do make hardcovers that work with toolboxes. The issue is those hard covers are usually in sections and they fold up onto each other and a lot of times they end up sitting up like this and then you can't see your hitch behind you and it kind of blocks your view of your hitch while you're driving or while you're hitching up. So you want to be careful with those also which is why a roll up to no cover is much better of an option. Another option in the hardcover arena are the kind that have the toolboxes and tonneau covers all bundled together into one package and it rolls up. Now, those are great, but they're super expensive. We're talking like, you know, $3,000 range. And that was like, eh, it, it's an okay option, but it also takes up quite a bit of room in your bed when you've got that big container piece there for the roll up. It's not rocket science, but it's just designed well fits well together. Uh, I've been driving around quite a bit with it recently. It's nice to be able to leave things in the bed. Installation is super simple. I still have access to my tools and my toolbox, and I'm just really, really super happy with the setup. I hope you enjoyed this. Please remember to click that like button. Please remember to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one. And have it all work together and not interfere, and that's stupid. Uh, Tara, this is a lot stranger down here by myself. I think those first two takes were good though. One more just for safe.
T. <laughs> See, I've got it framed. So I got me in the side and then the truck all over here. <laughs> Don't step on the iPad. Blah, 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 blah. We're going to get the Love you. Hello. Lisa's got to say hi. Hello. We'll put her up close where they can see her. We're taking a walk. Oh, hi, puppy. Mm, oh, that breeze. Oh, there's a bumblebee. Bumblebee. Got to go. It's like he's doing loops. Got to go. We'll see you later. We'll see you later. Okay. Let me know if you need anything. Will do.